20 signs you're probably falling in love. Number 20. You can't stop staring at them. Just try to look away, it's challenging. If your partner has ever caught you staring at them in a loving sort of way, it could be a for sure sign that you're head over heels for them. Eye contact means you're fixed on something. So if your eyes are fixed on your partner, there's a good chance you may be falling in love. Studies have found that couples who look into each other's eyes said they have a stronger romantic connection than people who don't. It can also go the other way too. Studies have shown that strangers who lock eyes for minutes at a time said they experienced a romantic feeling towards each other. Number 19. You'll feel surprised. A lot of people say they feel a shocked feeling when they meet the one. Like a feeling that you can't believe your special person even exists. Like it's too good to be true. Falling in love with the right person will leave you feeling surprised. Like you didn't see it coming. You'll ask yourself over and over again in your head how someone so perfect can exist. Let alone love you as much as they do. Number 18. You feel like you're high. It's totally normal and common to feel like you're out of your mind when falling for someone. When you fall in love, your brain releases a hormone called dopamine, which helps control the brain's pleasure sensors. So it's a good, happy feeling that gets released when you fall for someone. This is a good reason why people in new relationships can act completely senseless and be blinded by certain things because they only feel the good from that special someone. Number 17. You think about them constantly. You might realize, no matter what you're doing, you just can't seem to get that special person off your mind. During this, your brain releases hormones that create the feeling of being infatuated with your partner. We can all relate to this feeling because the same hormone is found in chocolate, which explains why you can't stop eating just after one piece. Number 16. You want them to be happy. This means you truly have their best interest at heart and want the best for them no matter what. Love is an equal partnership, but you'll find out that someone's happiness really becomes important to you when you're falling in love with someone. Compassionate love can be one of the biggest signs of a healthy relationship. This means that you're willing to go out of your way to make your partner's life happier and easier. If you always find yourself going out of your way to do nice things, or keeping your significant other dry while walking in the rain, or making them breakfast or dinner on a busy morning or night, just to show that you care, this is a sign you've got it bad. Number 15. Stressed out. Anyone who has been in a relationship will tell you that it's not all butterflies and rainbows. Even though love is often associated with warm and fuzzy feelings, it can also be a huge reason for stress. Being in love makes your brain release a stress hormone which can cause you to feel heat. Having strong feelings for someone can cause you more worry than normal, or be paranoid about what they're doing, or every time they go out with their friends you're stressed out about who they're with or what they're doing. This is usually common and normally nothing to really stress over as long as you're secure with your relationship and trust your partner. So if you've noticed your patience being tested a little more than normal, or you find yourself freaking out about things you probably shouldn't be freaking out about, you might not need to carry a stress ball just yet. You might just be in love. Number 14. You don't feel pain as strongly. Falling for someone might be painful, but if you've noticed that literally falling doesn't bother you as much as it did before, it could be a big sign you're in love. The Stanford University School of Medicine conducted a study that had people participating stare at a photo of someone they loved, and found it can reduce moderate pain up to 40% and reduce severe pain by up to 15%. That's really interesting and goes to show that love is a real thing and affects us in more than one way. So if you plan on getting a tattoo, you might want to keep a photo of your partner handy just in case. Number 13. You try new things. Suddenly things you never were a big fan of seem interesting to you and you're more open-minded to trying and doing new things. At the beginning of a relationship, everyone wants to impress their date, but if you find yourself trying new things consistently that your partner enjoys, then you might have been bitten by the love bug. One study found that people who have claimed to be in love often had varied personality and interest traits in those relationships. So even though you hate going to that dance class with your partner, it could have a positive effect on your personality, whether or not you end up staying with that person forever or you two go your separate ways. Number 12. Your heart rate synchronizes with theirs. When you're truly in love with someone, you'll be beating as one. This one might sound cheesy, but your heart might skip a beat when you think about that one you love. But you might also be beating in time with each other. The University of California did a study that suggests that couples' hearts start to beat at the same pace when they fall in love. You might not be able to tell if this happens without really paying attention when you're laying on their chest or without a stethoscope. Feeling a deep connection to your partner is a good sign as any that you're in love. Number 11. You're all right with the gross stuff. A little ew isn't a turnoff to you anymore. If you're normally a notorious germaphobe and now you're totally cool with kissing your partner after just seeing them pick their nose, you might just be in love. 
A study done at a university in the Netherlands found that feelings of sexual arousal can override feelings of being grossed out. This means if you're super attracted to your partner, they can do just about anything and you'll be okay with it. Things that would normally turn you off about a stranger or someone you just recently met, but when someone you're in love with does the same exact thing, it doesn't gross you out because the strong feelings mean way more to you than some silly gross thing they do at home. Number 10. You sweat more. If you get sweaty and nauseous, you either have a bad stomach flu or you're falling in love. Falling in love can make you feel sick and display physical symptoms similar to stress or anxiety, like sweat. This feeling will probably pass once you get really comfortable with your partner. The butterfly nervous feeling usually fades after a little while, but this shouldn't change the way you feel about your partner. It's just the simple fact that nothing can stay new forever. Number nine, you love their quirks. The little things about them is what you love most. When you really get to know a person, chances are you'll pick up on the little simple things they do that make them unique. And if you're in love with them, these are probably some of the things that attract you most about them. Some quirks and goofy things about them can actually make a person fall deeper in love with someone instead of just physical things because people have a unique preference when it comes to love and relationships. So even though you might have judged your partner harshly on the first glance, if you notice that you're now in awe of their uniqueness, you might be in love. Number eight, tempted to say I love you. A definite sign of romantic interest is when someone is hesitant to get those three words out of their mouth. If you find yourself wanting to say I love you to your partner and almost saying it accidentally, but you hold back, this could be a definite sign you're in love. Number seven, if your partner drives you crazy. Finding your perfect match can be stressful and the one you're currently with might be driving you crazy. They leave their stuff everywhere, they're always late for plans, they do things to get under your skin, and you hate that. When we focus on the negative, it's a sign that we're testing ourselves to see if this is really the right person for us. If you're often annoyed by little things your partner does, but you want to see them all the time anyway, this means you're willing to look past those things and make it work instead of letting those things overtake the relationship. There's always going to be disagreements and things that annoy you about people. No two people are the same. Number six, planning a future. If you picture a future with your partner and talk about kids and moving away together and meeting each other's families, this is a good indicator you're in love with each other. This shows that you both are thinking about your future together and that you see that person as being permanent and not just something short term. That sense of security makes you feel like it will be a lasting love. Number five, not afraid to show your feelings. If you feel comfortable enough to show your raw feelings in front of your partner and you're not afraid of scaring them off, this is a huge sign. Crying in front of your partner or showing them an embarrassing photo or collection you have, this is because you feel secure that they're not going to go anywhere and accept you regardless. Number four, you'd rather stay in than go out. All of a sudden, you're totally okay with staying in with your special someone, watching a movie instead of going out and doing something with your friends. This shows that you'd rather just spend quality time with your significant other instead of going out with your friends like you normally would. Suddenly, going out and drinking at the club seems pointless to you now. Number three, you sacrifice for them. You probably wouldn't always put off your responsibilities for your partner. You have to remember to keep up on your own life as well. But if they're sick and need you to take care of them, instead of going to brunch on a Sunday morning with your friends, you stay home and take care of them and you're totally okay with that. We don't cancel plans and push back our to-do list for just anybody, but it's different if it's somebody you care about. Number two, you want them to experience things with you. You want to do things you've already done before just so they can experience it with you. For example, if you've already gone on a vacation somewhere before but want to go back again with your partner so that you can show them and you two can experience it together. This is a big sign you have deep feelings for them. Number one, you genuinely feel good. Infatuation, love, and attraction all cause the same effects of pleasure hormones in our system. When you hug someone, your body releases oxytocin in your brain which makes you feel happy inside. If you get a hug or a kiss from someone you're falling for, that feeling is multiplied because of your attraction and connection to that person. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.